Welcome back to BBB Adventures and the Builder Series at Frank's Place. This episode will be a continuation of the project we started to refresh Luna, our 1962 Corvair Greenbrier camper van. We covered the scope and goals of this project in part one of this Lunar Refresh series, so if you're interested in what we're attempting to accomplish, you can go back and watch that episode. If you've been watching the last few episodes, you know that we are no longer tracking a formal Luna Refresh completion date, and after the work covered in this episode, progress on Luna came to a screeching halt. After I heal and after Ragbri, we will get back to working on Luna. This episode finds us at Frank's place on May 15th. Let's see, it's Monday, and I spent yesterday, Sunday, which was Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Uh, yeah, I spent that working uh, in the shop. I didn't film any, because I was basically doing the other half of the motor uh, O-rings. So I got all of these O-rings and all these pushrod tubes replaced. I've actually adjusted, rough adjusted the valves. You have to do the final valve adjustment with the engine running. But I got all that done. And I don't know if you can see them out there, but I took the valve covers down to bare metal. They're drying in the sun. I just put some metal prep, some etch, metal etching on there. So as soon as those are dry, I will clean them. And paint them. Today I want to keep working on the motor. I'm going to take this rear housing off, which means I got to take this pulley, this drive pulley off. I got to take all these bolts. I got to remove this. I'm going to I'm going to replace the gasket in the oil pump, which is behind here. There's a gasket here under the pressure regulator, the oil pressure regulator. I'm going to clean all this up. There's a seal, a rotating seal here and uh, there's a gasket on this assembly. So more work on the motor today, so let's get started. This pulley is keyed to the crankshaft because it also has the timing mark on it. So this pulley has to be in the right orientation, angular orientation relative to the crankshaft in order for it to act as anything to do with the engine timing. And so, yeah, I see that it's keyed. So I gotta go get a puller and uh, pull this off. Okay, you can see this is keyed and this pulley has threaded holes in it and so the first thing is I found this washer that will bear down on the crankshaft but not on the pulley and so this is the puller these two screws down here You want to get these screwed down about the same amount so that the the puller and the pulley are parallel. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I got to get the right wrench. Loose. 
So this came off like this. That is the surface that the seal runs on. And uh, the seal is in this housing. Now I can take the rest of the housing off. Okay, I got that off. You can see the oil galleys. This is the end of the camshaft. There's a bearing here. This is the gear that runs the distributor. So you gotta carefully clean all this up. Clean all this up, replace that seal. Work on this oil pump. Yeah. It's cool. What is this? What is that? This is the rear housing that you saw me take off earlier. And I've been spending, I had big ambitions for the day, but I have been spending hours cleaning this gasket surface. And I mean hours, hours and hours. I didn't film any of that because it's pretty boring work, but I've got it in pretty good shape. This is, these two gears turn together and this is the oil pump. It's pretty. So this is the oil pump. They look like flowers. No, they're not flowers. They're gears. They look like flowers. No, they're gears, but this is the oil pump. Now, this is the oil pump plate. What's really important about this is the clearance between the, this bottom plate that forms the bottom of the oil pump and this gear. So I need to measure that clearance. And then I got a bunch of different gasket thicknesses. I tried my best to measure that this is a little piece of the gasket that was in there and I used my micrometer and tried my best to measure it. And so I'm gonna take my best guess, but I'm gonna use a thing called plastic gauge. Basically inside this is a little piece of plastic. It's a round plastic. It's actually sort of waxy plastic. I'm gonna put a piece of it on this top of this gear. I'm gonna put the gasket on here that I think is the right thickness. Then I'm gonna basically assemble this. I'm gonna tighten this up. Then I'm gonna take it apart again. And then I'm gonna look at how much it squished that. And then you use this thing on here. You measure the width of the squishness and it tells you the clearance. You, some of you have probably seen this What's before. Your clearance, clearance. Some of you have probably seen this before because you, you also use the green plastic gauge. This is red. Use the green plastic gauge to measure main bearings and rod bearing clearances. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. What's your, what's your clearance, clearance? About What's your clearance, Two and a half thousandths of an inch. I'll come over here and see my gaskets. These are all the different gaskets. And I, according to my calculations... Are they marked as to which is which? No. Oh dear. I, How do you know which is which? Because I measured them earlier and I want to take this green one. I want to try the green one. So that's what we're going to do. We're it doesn't look green. We're going to try no, the green no, ones. Green. And they look green. You have okay. to plastic gauge it first. I know. Thanks for the reminder. I cut a little of this off. Now I got to get the plastic gauge out of there. It's delicate work. I have the hands of a surgeon. And I got a camera in my face. Oh my God. There it is. That there's the stuff. Plastic gauge. With the thing on it? 
Hmm? With the gasket on there? Yeah. Why? Because you have to measure the final thickness. Oh. The gasket contributes to that. I see. Did all the holes line up? Yes. You don't want that to fall in there, do you? Uh, you don't. It's not gonna. Okay. So now I'm tightening this up. I got the plastic gauge in there. Disco donkey. Okay, I've tightened these up. And now you tap it twice for good luck. Oh, that, that, that part's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that part's not true. Okay. Now you're taking it apart. I gotta take it apart. That doesn't have to be torqued? I torqued it enough. You guesstimated at the torque. Yep. Okay. Drum roll, please. Uh oh. It's all squished. Ooh, it got on there. Hmm? It got on there. It's okay. It's it is all squished. And now you get your gauge. It's right My there. My gauge is. I think it's too. I think it's too much clearance. So it's a, it's about that thickness. See that? Yes. At one, uh, that's 152. What do you oh, want? that's millimeters. Oh, Jesus. It's millimeters, people. We don't deal with millimeters over here. 0 0.006? Six. six thousandths. Okay, so that's not the right gasket. I need to go with a thinner one. What did you want? Two thousand. Two, let, me go check the, let me go check the manual, but I think it's two and a half to six to two and a half to four i'm gonna go look okay it was too thick what we measured was six thousandths and it's supposed to be between two and four so this one is about three thousandths thinner the gasket so this one should be good but we're gonna we're gonna redo the plastic gauge so i've cut a new piece of plastic gauge there it is The torque spec is 60 to 80 foot-pounds, so I've set this torque wrench at 60. Tap two times for good luck. That part's not true. <laughs> didn't work last time. Sure didn't. <laughs> Maybe it's three times. <laughs> How many times did Dorothy click her heels together? Twice? Three times, I think. Oh, uh, see? They messed it up. Yeah, we're hoping that the plastic gauge is wider, which means the clearance is tighter. Drum roll. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's wider. It is wider. Hmm. Doesn't really feel like I'm getting a good reading. Oh, there. That's good. Four thousandths. Yep. You wanted it between two and four. Hmm, That's... I wonder if I should go a little tighter. A little bit tighter. I wonder if I should go I a little tighter. I think you should. Okay. I think you should. Because that was barely four. Yeah. And two is even wider. Two. Look at how wide two is. Should point to the two. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go one more size down. Third time's a charm. I hope so. Oh, I forgot to tap. Oh my goodness. Maybe the tap wasn't working, so. No tap this time. No taps for good luck. Third time's a charm. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Guten squished. Still not as wide as that two though. That's a three. That's a three. Yeah. That's good. 
That's good. You found the right one. Sure did. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Three, third time's a charm. Third time was a charm. Okay, Hopefully now, it was easy. Now I'm going to clean this up and uh, do it for sure as easy. But when I put it, I won't film it, but when I put it back together, I'm going to put anti-seize on these because this is steel. This is aluminum. And you never put a steel screw into an aluminum part. Without anti-seize. And I don't mean anti like anti Lynn or anti somebody. <laughs> it's not like I have an aunt C's. aunt C's <laughs> and I call her Auntie C's and the uncle stuck. <laughs> uncle rusted and Auntie C's. Just anti C's. Yeah. C. It's right about this time in mid-May when my dad's health was at its lowest point when we were working with the doctors. This is about the time his diagnosis of cancer and his referral to the Huntsman Cancer Institute in Salt Lake City was coming through and our priorities and focus really changed. And so there really hasn't been any significant work on Luna since that time. Then, of course, as you know, uh, in early June, I think it was June 3rd, we had the wreck in the tandem when we were doing a rag ride training ride, which further adjusted our priorities. So again, uh, there hasn't been much work. So we will finish the Lunar Refresh and we will film it. We will bring that to the Builder Series in future episodes, but yeah, for now, work has stopped. We really appreciate everyone that reached out with prayers and well wishes and positive energy, positive thoughts about what's going on with my dad, about what's, uh, about what's going on with me. For those of you who have had a loved one that is dealing with cancer, it's, it's tough. It's a tough situation and so all of your well wishes uh, really help us. So appreciate that. Uh, quick update, uh, I had a doctor's appointment this morning. They took another x-ray. There it is. Seven screws. Seven screws. And a necklace. It looks like they put their screw right through the necklace. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> the hardware that they installed during the surgery looks good and has positioned the bones to heal up. And so all of that is on track. We are still working on a rag bride plan. We reviewed some of those with the doctor today and he agreed with uh, what we are thinking about doing. We're gonna bring a full update on our rag bride plan on a future episode of BBB Adventures, so you can look for that. And as far as the Builder Series, I'm working on a couple of things that I can cover in the interim, or perhaps there won't be any Wednesday releases for a little bit until I can get my health back into a position where I can be working at Frank's place or doing other projects. But uh, again, I've got some ideas on some, some things I might be able to share with you about some of the things that we're working on, planning for future projects, either here at our house or uh, at Frank's place. I think, I think that's it for now. I, I really wanna thank everyone who watches the Builder Series, whose comments, who gives us thumbs up. It's fun to share the things that we're working on with you. It's good to get the feedback that uh, you're enjoying the content. Again, any and all feedback is more than welcome as we'd like to make the content as interesting and as entertaining as possible. So yeah, please keep the comments rolling. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the ride. Wear a helmet. See you next time.